Where's my darn yarn? And welcome to this very first episode of Fru Wahlborg's podcast. My name is Pietra and I come to you from Eksjö, a small city in Sweden. I am the dyer behind the brand uh, Fru Wahlborg, uh, which is a small dyeing company that I think I started a little more than a year ago. Uh, this podcast to me will be my contribution to the knitting world. <laughs> uh, I like watching podcasts myself while I'm dying or when I'm knitting in the couch in the evenings. Um, so I thought it would be fun to record something myself and uh, to reach out to the customers or to other people in the knitting world and in the knitting community and yeah some some kind of social uh, <laughs> experiment for me because being all alone all the days at home when I work uh, it can be kind of lonely and you feel a little isolated and I think it would be fun to yeah, get contact with other knitters and or crocheters or whatever you, you like to do with the yarn. Uh, I myself mostly knit. I, I like uh, crocheting a little but uh, I'm not so good at it or I'm not, I'm not that interested in it as I am in knitting anyway. Um, this first episode, I just thought I would talk a little bit about myself and about Fru Wahlborg and maybe a little bit about my family. Uh, so I hope it won't be too long, this episode. Um, Fru Wahlborg, the name Fru Wahlborg comes from my grandma who uh, was a textile teacher, just as I am. She died some months before I was born, so I never got the chance to meet her, but I have seen her handcraft and I think it would be fun to just dedicate this company to her. Maybe she passed her handicraft skills to me, <laughs> so this is a thank you to her. Um, I have before this, I, before I started for Wahlborg, I have worked as um, a textile teacher, as I said, for many years. And my first choice of um, job was working with ceramics. I went to school when I was younger and uh, studied um, the arts of clay and throwing the wheel and yeah that kind of thing so my first company i started i was maybe i don't know 25 20, no i don't know but it was many years ago and um, i started a pottery and had my own little shop and sold um, ceramic things uh, and i love to throw the wheel i i love to um, work with clay and yeah how it forms in your hands when you when you work with it that, that's very exciting i have my cup i have thrown that very long time ago um, but i had to stop that work because um, my I, I got pain in my yeah, in my neck and in my back and my arm wrists took a lot of, yeah, I don't know what to say, took a lot of ache. 
I don't know. Anyway, I couldn't do that anymore. So I studied to a textile teacher. And then now, after many years working with that, I just thought it was time to um, work with my own handicraft because I think that it's what gives me most pleasure to uh, to work with it myself. Even though I really like to work with children and youths and um, so, but I get out the most of making myself, I think. So it's so exciting to be able to try this out at full time. And my husband Robert has been so supportive and uh, really pushed me to do this because I, I was a little afraid that um, yeah, it wouldn't work. And I don't know if it's gonna work, but uh, it's a chance. And sometimes you just have to take a chance to know if it, if it's gonna be something or not. So uh, I'm very excited to be able to do that anyway. And I love dyeing yarn. Uh, I love colors and I love different qualities and I love to experiment and I get tired of things very quickly. So I have a lot of colors and I have a lot of qualities and I just, uh, I love to try them out and see what works and uh, what I like the most and so, so um, yeah. Maybe that will show in my feed because sometimes I like these subtle, gentle colors and sometimes I like the pop colors, the many colors and yeah, so. Uh, anyway, my family is I, I told you about my husband Robert uh, we also have five daughters uh, three of them I give birth to myself <laughs> from my previous marriage and uh, the other two girls is Robert's girls from his previous marriage um, but we have them on full time here because uh, their mother passed away some years ago so which was very sad, but um, yeah, they, they live with us all the time. So I say it's my, all, all the five girls is my girls and Robin's girls, of course. Um, we live in a big house. We have a cat. Um, all the dying and all, all the things happening around Frivalborg just happens here in this house where I sit. Um, I would really like to have a studio sometimes <laughs> because the kitchen is just full of yarn and full of dyes and everything and um, I think maybe in the long run <laughs> the, the children would get too sick of me with with all the yarn and uh, they come home from school and in the pots there is only yarn in noodles nothing else so yeah that might be a goal also maybe for this year maybe next year to be able to get a, a studio i hope so anyway if this runs and goes well i hope so um for this podcast i have thinking about um I would like to talk to you about my yarns and what I knit and all the yarny stuff that's interesting and fun to talk about and um, yeah maybe sometimes it comes things from my life or our lives and I talk to Robert and I, I would like him to be a part of this podcast as well because he's a big part of the company he's the one skeining all the yarns and yeah you do so much for this uh, and i think it would be fun having him with me uh, talking to him because sitting here all by myself it's the very first <laughs> i uh, because all the 45 times i've uh, erased the movie before this but uh, um, it would be fun having him with me and uh, 
have someone to talk to even even though I hope there are some people that will watch this um, but I think it's more fun to interact with someone else uh, while uh, recording this and yeah and I hope this will be something that lasts and I want uh, you to if you'd like you can ask me questions or yeah come with tips what I can talk about or if you have anything that that you think would be interesting that I yeah bring into this podcast so, uh, it would be fun if you mention that to me um, yeah so I don't know whether I should talk something about what I need now because I think that's the most funny part of having a podcast maybe uh, I have no show notes for this I just I was standing at my diapods today and I just thought that sometimes I must have the guts to do this because I'm I was qu quite nervous just to record this uh, I feel a little bit silly speaking English it's not I'm not very very good at it uh, Swedish as you understand is my main language and um, yeah but since I have many followers from other countries and customers that I send yarn to and things like that I, I thought it would be fun talking English just to expand the world and be able to make contacts outside Sweden as well so I hope you will bear with me <laughs> with my bad English in Sweden we say that we talk sw swinglish uh, which means yeah like you can hear that you're from Sweden but you, you use the English words so that might be what I will do <laughs> in these episodes my husband is better in English he, he works uh, at a company uh, with many international uh, business partners and things so, so he's more used to speaking English and maybe if I bring him in here it would be more easy for me to just get along with the with the language and things so yeah he will definitely be with me next time I record I think um, anyhow I think I will show you just some projects that I've been working on that I just casted on and that I just finished um, I, th I think I will show you this first because th this is a project that I I started just yeah maybe two weeks ago or something uh, and it's knitted in my squishy merino base which is 100% uh, superwash merino yarn, a DK yarn with uh, 150 gram each skein and I just, I love the base, it's so squishy and soft and yeah, it's, it makes a gorgeous material I think and um, when I dyed these skeins I just, I had some random skeins lying around that I uh, yeah I haven't I hadn't followed the recipe actually so I just took them and threw them in the dye pot and just thought that uh, yeah I can dye something just for me it doesn't matter if if it don't get so perfect or <laughs> anything but but I, I really like the color and I think I will um, try to yeah I will try to make it uh, as a more it's a regular colorway actually uh, it's very it's a gray base and I've toned it in with the purple and some speckles of um, orange and green and a little black speckles I see if you can see it I hope this camera works well it's it's a new camera that I bought just a week ago or something and I'm not so familiar with it and I don't know if it zooms in the the things I hold in front of it but uh, yeah so this anyway this is the campsite cardigan and it is 
written by is it no I, I just had to look um, I always forget these things I'm so bad in designers and and uh, remember the remembering their names and things um, let's see here I have it here yeah it's by Alicia Plummer anyway and I hope I say it right um, so it is written for a DK yarn and I knitted mine in squishy merino as I said and I'm so pleased with how it turned out uh, I faded it a little because I got two colorways okay I'm sorry about that <laughs> just talking about the camera and don't understand how it works I just got out of picture but anyhow uh, this was by Alicia Plummer and I made it in two colorways um, so I tried to fade them to each other and uh, I think it got quite all right and I, I think I think it's beautiful I just have to soak it now and give it a real bath and block it and then I will have to trade I, I know it's it fits but uh, it's a little too a little too short and maybe a little tight but I think some good blocking will do their job I think um, so that's one project almost finished I also have some ends to weave in but otherwise it's kind of finished <laughs> uh, and I I think Maybe yesterday or the day before, I was watching an episode of um, Christy Glass Knits, uh, one of my favorite shows to watch. And I think it was an old episode that I looked at. No, I don't know. Well, anyway, don't mind. I, she, anyway, she had a very nice sweater, and um, I tr I started to look in a feed what pattern it was and um, what yarn she had used and things like that and I I found out it was a Stephen West pattern I might be the last one to say this but I have never knitted a Stephen West pattern and uh, I thought yes we'll it might be time to do that so I will try and I just had to cast on so yesterday in the evening I just grabbed some uh, skeins from my <laughs> stash and some of my own hand dyed and some of yeah just skeins lying around that I actually don't know what it is but um, I found I think I found a good combo and the pattern is called Enchanted Mesa I think and uh, it looks to me <laughs> it looks a little bit crazy when you just see it because I, I, maybe I wear more classic um, sweaters and things but I, I really like this one I think I will it looks like this I don't know if you can see it yeah it's I love that drapes of the shoulders and that you can play with all colors and things so yeah I played around with some colors and I cast it on so this is the beginning and it's I think no I don't think but you start to knit from the top so this is uh, I don't know if you say cowl in this I don't know what it calls yeah I don't know actually this is the neck anyway <laughs> and um, I put together two yarns I found these ones in that I really like uh, it's the dark one is um, Eggplant is the name and uh, from Malabrigo and the other one is Madeline Tosh and I don't remember the name of it 
Anyhow, I think it makes gorgeous, uh, a gorgeous um, material. Uh, it's it's grey and a little brownish and yeah, I think it looks great and I hope it will be a good fin uh, start at this sweater anyway. And then I had tried the first. I think I will start with bringing some turquoise in turquoise turquoise i don't know what it, turquoise <laughs> i don't know what you say but i like this color and this is also um, madeline tosh their single ply fingering weight okay <laughs> this episode will get tons of editing i can imagine because the camera says it's heating up and it turns off and everything. So I just go along and um, <laughs> talk about the next color. And it was Madeline Tosh, I said. And I don't know the color because I was so excited when I bought them. I, w I was in Amsterdam um, this summer, me and my husband. and. Uh, we went to Stephen and Penelope, which oh, it's it's a gorgeous store, and I bought um, four skeins Melon Tosh. And when I got home, I just was in a rush to winding them up and fin starting something. So I, yeah, I I, I I threw the labels away, which was very stupid of me. But anyway, this will go next, along with. A thread of my fussy mohair I think because I have two two strands at a time um, I'm knitting this on 4.5 millimeter needles uh, so this is too thin so I have to add something I think I might take um, fussy mohair to this as well and then I think I really like this mauve colors like purple and brown and I don't know I might take this is if if I should take this one next it's my faded rose colorway uh, and I might also yeah I don't know maybe this one maybe these two together I might take them and then I might want to have some greenish fade the next um, the next color after that I have not really decided yet but I hope they will go fine together and I might pop in this one that I used for the campsite cardigan that I just showed you I think it would be fine to this as well. Um, oh, I have so many yarns lying around. I don't know what to, to choose. Uh, I also thinking of this. I might bring this one. It's my Heather colorway. I think I have to hide my eyes when I do this. Anyway, this is Heather uh, and I love this color. It's one of my favorites. Aren't they pretty together? Might be that one. Hmm. Yeah. Well, I think it's a very fun knit so far. And uh, since I have never knitted any Steam West patterns before, I, I haven't read them actually. But um, I bought this one on Ravelry and uh, it was fun because it's like, yeah, you can do a little of this and a little of that and just play around with the colors or play around with the structure and things. So, yeah, I think I will enjoy this knit, actually. Um, so, that was that. I have, many, <laughs> I have so many projects going on, but I don't think I will show everything to you today. Maybe... 
actually I just want to show you this bag. I, 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 don't, I don't show the project in it, but I have to show you the bag. I bought this from Twill and Print and I think she's, she's based in the United States. I don't know, Canada, maybe Canada, United States. I, I will check that up. I might have to do some, sh I don't know, show notes, but you know, the things you write down, <laughs> down here, the comment in the comments fields or whatever it's called. I might have to write something there about everything I talk about, but yeah, I just love this. It's so gorgeous. It's like, a thick canvas material and uh, I don't know if it's if it looks yeah it's kind of it's mauve purple colors on the prints and it has these gorgeous leather leather straps on it and yeah it's, it's such a nice handicraft um, it didn't take so long time, maybe two, uh, maybe two, three weeks before I got it on the mail, but it was definitely worth waiting for. So I have a project in here, uh, which is an Emily cardigan, but I'm so tired of it. So I might not show it to you this time. No, I won't. I bring the next, <laughs> my next project bag. Ah, it's a fringe supply bag. Uh, with some nice pins I don't know if you can see them this one is from Twill and Print as well and the other one is from Stephen and Penelope I, I, um, I bought the bag from Stephen and Penelope uh, and these two pins as well and I this gets softer and softer it's, it's a thick canvas uh, cloth this as well but the more you use it, the more soft it gets. And I, I really like this bag. Uh, in it I have this little project going on. It's a plain vanilla sock. Um, and I knit it in the first colorway of this month's uh, yarn club that I sent out. It just started uh, in December was the first one that I sent out and um, this was the first colorway along with two mini skeins, one ash and one I don't know if I can find it. This is pond as well. Ash and pond and this colorway is Oh Happy Days and I think they go fine together um, so I knit a plain vanilla sock out of this and I like these knits because it's so simple and I, I don't follow any patterns when I knit the socks I need them just to relax and you know when you want to knit in the car and um, you want to be able to talk to the person that drives at the same time and yeah then it's good with vanilla socks I think so this is that and one is ready actually so it's not much just just the last oh my god I, I forget the the English names all the time this is mud in Swedish <laughs> and cuff the cuff I only have the cuff left um, so these are soon finished and I might have to start a new one but yeah I have I have many projects in my revel revelry queue at the moment um, I yesterday I also bought this pattern a pair of gloves and they are made by Skein Deer Knits, uh, the Flora Mittens. Uh, I only have a black and white printer so 
you can see any colors here but I have chosen to knit it with Tada! Move colors. Um, these two. It's kind of dark gray with some purple in it, and then there's just yeah, a movie color. I don't know. I just dyed them because I thought they would look good together. And um, yeah. I don't know maybe if I should switch. So I have the the dark color the light spots instead I don't know if I should I don't know if it say reverse it just switch switch the place for them anyway but yeah I'm thinking of starting these as well so I might uh, I might do them first before <laughs> we get the new sock uh, yeah so as you see I have many projects going on and um, I might stop recording <laughs> this time because I think the next time I record I might have Robert with me and I think I will write some show notes so that I know what to talk about I, I just have a link have a <laughs> babbling around now I think <laughs> I hope you got some sense for this and I hope you have patience with me because I'm so not used to do this and uh, I hope this will be a good uh, podcast in in the future <laughs> uh, a little more organized maybe and um, please write in the comments below if there's anything you think that I should talk about or if there's anything you're interested in to know or if you have questions for me I will answer them if they're not too personal <laughs> and um, yes yeah, so, so I know what you're interested in anyway um, because I, I want to interact with you guys anyway that's that's the main thing with this I think it, it's not funny just sitting here talking about things that you <laughs> you don't like so please um, comment down below and uh, yeah question away or just yeah give me some feedback uh, and bear with me with the language and with the <laughs> everything in the content in here anyway so anyhow this is I was so nervous about this and I, I uh, it's so hard speaking English and I hope I can relax uh, uh, more the next time and I if you are watching I thank you so much that you found me here and um, yeah I don't know what to say more but <laughs> have a nice day and I hope I see you soon again. Goodbye! Like a bird on a tree I'm just sitting here I got time It's clear to see from up here